Hey guys, so um, I don't, we're gonna film a video today, I really don't know what's wrong with my camera, it's being really weird quality, and I'm, I know I try to do everything with it and I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna leave it like this right there. Um, tell me guys what you think of it, tell me if it's really bad quality, if, if you, some people think it's the same, if it's the same, if you think it's the same, if you think it's the same, let me know, cause then there won't be a problem, but um, the light in the back kind of screwing up the lighting. Here, I'll turn it off. It's kind of dark like this, but I guess, yeah, this is dark. Never mind. I think it's better like that then, right? Okay, well, I think it is, so. Um, today I'm going to do a video called Glamorous in Gold, and, um, well, my focus is like flipping over. So, um, and people did like pretty in pink, like ravishing in red and stuff like that. I thought I would do glamorous and gold to kind of be more creative and not uh, just like go along with the other things. And I'm just gonna go straight to my favorite gold products and I'm gonna tag some people. I'm gonna. <coughs> my nose is really, really stuffy right now. I'm gonna tag a couple people. A couple people I wanna tag is, um, a K doll, I really want her to do this tag. I really want Lovely Lavender Whip to do this tag. I want Tantalizing Technique to do this tag. Uh, all Things Beautiful to do this tag. And I want that to be cute to do this tag. Even if she probably is not going to watch my video. Maybe she can. I don't know. Well, if she can cute this, then I'm probably just going to see you do it. So we'll just get on started right away. I'll just start with. Um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow first because I think it's the most thing that's basically the whole thing actually. So the first eyeshadow, which is really pretty gold, is this um, Flawless Youth Forever Cosmetics one. I was talking about their foundation. I want I found their website through Fleur de Force's video and I got some stuff in there and I really liked it. This one's called Gold Bronze Goddess. Yeah, Bronze Goddess. And it's just a nice light gold. It's really pretty, but it's like an antique kind of gold. Like it's like it's just not. It's not like a bright gold. It's just kind of like a bronzy, brassy gold. That explains it better, and that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty and pigmented. That's what it looks like. It's really like it's kind of like it's like a true gold. It kind of looks yucky to watch because it's it's like a true gold color, but it's really, really pretty. And this is on right there, just like a brassy antique gold. It's really pretty. So I really like that about it. And I wish my camera wouldn't be gay for a day and stop just focusing on me. Oh, and I know someone's gonna comment about this one too. I got it getting really lit. That's one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite gold eyeshadow. Maybe not my favorite, like one of my favorite. Nars Etresque. Um, I like some Tali Etresque. Etrusque. Um. Oh, and people, and like, I don't know. Nars eyeshadows are really good quality. They're kind of pricey for some people, but I think they're like they're 2.2 grams, which is really it's 23 dollars. So, so if you were to like divide the grams, they'd be the same as the Mac, but like the same price. It's beautiful. Like look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like a light, also bronzy gold. It's buttery smooth. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. You don't even know how. Oh, it's just like it's like butter. Like it, it's like legit butter. And you swatch it, it just comes out buttery too. It's just kind of like it doesn't feel like focusing right now. Well, it comes out like butter. It's so, so, it's like, it's like an actual, like someone like took gold and like ripped it out. It's beautiful and I love this color. This is, yeah, this is probably my number one favorite gold, I'm gonna have to say. It is so pretty. That one right there. It's really pretty. My hands are so pale. Everyone said me like, oh my gosh, I know. Another one is this um, color. It's called La May. It's from Stila. You can buy it separately. It's like a light. It's, oh, this is kitten. I love kitten. Um, I a lot of people rave about kitten. I think it's worth the hype. Definitely, it's a really nice good color. Um, I like all these colors. But this one's called La May, and it's like a light gold. I really like it. It's more of a light gold, not like a brassy gold. More of a, just like a playful sunshine gold. I don't know, that doesn't really make sense, that's right there, but you'll see what I mean when I show you, there you go. See how those, those are kind of, like, that's LeMay, so I think, see how that gets, like, an actual gold, it's like a, just kind of like a sunshine gold, 
Um, well, yeah, so like that one too. That is a pig. This is Melon by Mac. I'm not gonna swatch it, but like, you guys probably have already seen so many swatches. Okay, we'll swatch it. It's more of a peach undertone. It's like a bronzy. It's more of like a peachy bronze color. But I still thought I'd include it because it's still like kind of like if I had to classify it under a name, I would probably classify it under gold. Dun, 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 dun. That's that. It's really pretty. As you can see, it's a really nice blood color. And I, when I was on vacation in Mexico, I would put that all over the lid and under my lash line. And then I like in my pictures, I would, like squint a tiny bit and like I don't know, it looks really cool. Uh, and then this is a, from a pigment stack. It's from the there's t I stacked two pigment stacks. This is the, this is the first pigment stack, and then this is the second one. There's this one. There's so this is not one stack. This is this is two stacks actually. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so this color on the bottom it doesn't have a name. It's just the color this bronzy color from this stack. If you bought this stack, it's a bronzy color. It's really really pretty. Hold on, I'll swatch it. It's pretty. It's like a golden color. Yeah, definitely gold. It doesn't feel like autofocusing on it, but it's a gold. And then the one above it is like a, um, it's not really gold. The one at the top is like another sunshine kind of gold color. I spilled this one, and it was so sad. Like, there was nothing left in it. Almost nothing. At least to me, that's nothing. But it's nothing in total. I mean, like, it was so sad. I don't, I think these pigments are a lot less quality than the regular pigments, because they're more, like, chunky than the else. Tell, if you bought this, do you guys agree? Next eyeshadow is from Manify Cosmetics. It's called Fields of Gold. It's another playful sunshine kind of gold. I'll swatch it right next to um, LeMay. It's almost the exact same color. It's like a beet for it. Oh, right, it's like the exact same color. Okay, I'll show you guys right now. Uh, it's really pretty. You can get this from Manify Cosmetics. I saw a lot recently while I unregistered for it. There's the Manify one, and then there's LeMay. They're really similar colors. They're just like they're kind of like a sunshine gold. Next from this MAC palette, which is from the Tartan Hills, this is the Six Wheelers and Rockers palette. Um, the, this, the, these two bottom colors are gold. This one's called Gull Lake. I don't know how to say that one. It's called Family Treasures. And it's called Galaic Gold. This is like a true gold, like an actual, like I said, like a bronzy green tone gold, because most gold actually are green tone. I can actually give this skin tone. Tight. If you have all of skin tones, I think this would look really pretty. Uh, because it would bring some of that out and it's also I think if you were doing more of um, a green based eye and you wanted to put that in the crease it would look nice and then this one's called family treasures like I said and it's kind of like a sunshine gold and mixed with the brash and gold it's like their baby with a drink right there that's pointless for me to show you but yeah I really like this palette I haven't actually used it at all yet but you know nice colors next thing I two more eyeshadows I'm gonna show you. And then um I got a palette for the top. Two. And the Urban Decay Naked palette. It's well this color's in all my palettes. I have this color in four palettes from Urban Decay. I know, they they repromote colors way too much. It's called Half Baked. It's really pretty, I'll swatch it. It's really buttery smooth if you have it, you know what I mean. It's really buttery. This is Ugh, that one and the knives that are probably my two favorite golds. I, I don't, that looks really pretty. That's half baked right there. It's kind of gold, but it's like gold world. Um, so I really like that color. Yeah, so that's this. That's the only really gold in this palette, and I love this palette so much. The next color is from the Too Faced palette. It's called Honey Pot. It's from the Natural Eye palette. It's right there. It's also in my Glam Glamorland Enchanted Glamour palette. It's like a really pretty gold. I have a lot of gold eyeshadow. This is more of a. This is really similar to half baked. Okay, I'm gonna have to say, this is my favorite gold. Honey Pot, okay, that's my favorite gold. Yeah, there we go. I just, I, it's been decided. It's right there. It's really similar to um the, the Urban Decay one, but that's my favorite gold. I like that one a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Whew, okay, then for another, for a paint pot, this is called Rubenesque. It's so pretty. It's like a bronzy gold color. Sure, just decided it doesn't feel like autofocusing. There you go, you see it. it's like a bronzy, rich gold. It's really pretty. And whenever I wear gold eyeshadow, always like I have must wear this under. So, um, so you can see the gold 
gold, the gold ash that we put on top of the base will become a lot more vibrant. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's pretty similar to like half stick, but in a paint pot right there. Yeah, right there. It's a pretty sheer, but still, when you put it on t on top, it'll make a difference. For um, I love this glitter liner. It's from Sephora. It's the number seven gold glitter liner. This burns. I mentioned this in my box. It burns when you put it on, and I mentioned that in my face today. It does burn. I love it so much. And someone told me, they're like, oh, you might be allergic to it. I have a lot of people, and the makeup rallies, a lot of people are saying it burns too. The thing in it, I wish they would have tested it. Not animals, I'm just saying, like, I wish they would have tested it on a person before they sell, sold it and, like, saw why it burned. I also, I've been really into doing navy blue. Um, I'm, like, really into having, like, huge eyeliner face. I used to never wear eyeliner. Then I started, like, wearing um, gel liner. I love gel liner. I started wearing pencil liner. I really love pencil liner. Now I'm wearing liquid liner. This is Max Signature Blue Super Slick Eyeliner. I and I'm getting so good at like liquid eyeliner. Like, like really, I'm really into eyeliner right now. And then I love the new gold eyeliners. I'm just so into eyeliner right now. I don't know. I used to never wear it. But there's so many different ways to wear it. Just I don't know. When I, when I ever think of eyeliner, I just think of black. But there's so many different things now. But the burning goes away. It always, only it burns while it's wet and it's on your eyelids. And then when it like heals, it doesn't burn anymore. So that's a plus. There's a swatch right there. See, even though I'm it's not focusing. Come on. Okay, there we go. You can see it right there. It's really pretty and it's really pigmented and I actually like it because a lot more than other gold eyeliners because like glitter eyeliners because it actually is like there's a lot of concentrated amount of glitter. And sometimes there's not. Sometimes I buy them and it's just like clear. There's like two pieces of glitter, which is really annoying. For gold lip gloss, only I only have like one gold lip product. This is from the Fabulous Felines collection. It's called Schemer. It's a lip gloss. It's gold. It is so pretty, but so pigmented. It's like an intense gold. Um, let me just here. I'll put it on for you guys. The lighting's weird, but it literally makes your lips look like. 24 karat gold. Like, like my lips look like big, like legit gold on your lips. It's really cool. Um, this is this one right there. It's really, really pretty. It looks, it's, it swatches bad, but it looks, it looks good. You know, it's just a product like that. Oh, another thing is Max Luster Drops. This, these are, this is in gold and bronze hero. It's really pretty golden color. I'm just gonna mix this into with my foundation during the summer. I'm gonna start mixing with my foundation again. I like the way it looks. It gives like a nice bronzy glow to your face. There's a swatch of it. It's really pigmented and it's like a liquid. I mean, you can use it like a liquid highlighter, but it's really dark. If you're darker skin tone, if you're like if you're like I'm not saying this in a racist way, but if you're African American, then it'll look good because it's gonna look better. Cause like. You know what I mean? I'm really pale, and like if I was to use this as a highlight, it just looks like brown streaks on me. There's a swatch of it. It's really pretty. But it has metallic sheen to it, though. Yeah. Luster drops are pretty hard to swatch, too, but um, you get the idea. These are limited edition, but um, from the. So, what is it? I got one at a CCO, so like, check that out. And then the last thing is a bronzer. So I could include all bronzers because they all usually have a bronze undertone. The one that I chose, I chose Beach Bronze by MAC because it has a lot of gold shimmer in it. It's a cream bronzer. It's really sheer. Even on me, and I'm like ridiculously pale, and it's really sheer on me. So um, I actually, actually kind of like works as like a highlighter kind of. Yeah, I would say it's a highlighter, especially if you're wearing more of a bronzy tone blush with gold reflux. Like if you put NARS Albatross, like one day I wore this as a blush, like a cream blush, and put NARS Albatross on top and just like had this like, beautiful like golden sheen. I think one day I'm going to do like an all out gold look, like do gold eyeshadow, gold glitter eyeliner, gold lip gloss, bronze blush, this, and then like NARS Albatross. Oh, that's a gold sheet. I should have included it. Poop. So, you know what I mean? Like all out gold. I'm not, I thought I should do a tutorial on that. Let me know if you want to. Like I will do it. Here's a swatch. It's really silky and smooth when you put it on. It has a lot of gold shimmer. Like, if you don't like gold shimmer, you will not like this. I'm running out of time. It's like 14 minutes. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, for the people I tag down below. And I also tag all of you. If you do this tag, leave it as a video response down below. That would be awesome because I'd love to watch if you discover some more gold products because gold is one of my favorite colors. So, I love you guys so, so much. Bye. Have a great day.